What's up Strong Church, Chris here. Today I wanted to introduce a new segment to Strong Church called Did You Know? You know, there's a ton of information out there on the internet and there's a lot of weird and interesting stories that we see on social media and I personally love digging into those a little bit. So this is where we're gonna look at some, some weird and interesting facts just about stuff that we can find on the internet. Today, I want us to look at the human body. The first part of the body that I want us to look at is our brains. Did you know that our brain is so complex that it took one of the world's biggest supercomputers 40 minutes to map out and receive all the information from our brain from one second of activity? Now that's incredible. You know, we think our, our computers are so fast nowadays and we're so uh, technologically advanced, and yet, one of our best computers that still takes 40 minutes in order to figure out what we do in just one second. The next part of our bodies that I want to look at is our fingers. Did you know that our fingers are so sensitive that we can feel objects that are as small as 13 nanometers? To put that in perspective, if our fingers were the size of the earth, we would be able to differentiate between houses and cars by running our finger across it. That is awesome. That is so cool that our God has made us this sensitive to, to touch and to be able to differentiate between things that, that we can feel with our, with our hands and with our bodies. That's, it's just incredible. The next part of the body that I want to look at is the eye. Did you know that our eyes are so sensitive that if the earth were completely flat and on a clear night, we could see a candle flickering from 30 miles away? 30 miles, think about that. That is a long ways. Think about that town that is 30 miles away from you. Think about how long it takes you to travel to that place and just think that if the earth were flat, and there wasn't any objects in our way, you'd be able to see a candle flickering in the wind. That's awesome. The next part of our human bodies that I want to look at is the stomach. Did you know that the acid in our stomachs, the hydrochloric acid that helps us digest food, is so strong that it can melt most metals? That's kind of scary to think that we have that kind of destructive nature within us that's contained and it actually helps us out. It's no wonder that when we get heartburn, it hurts so much. I mean, we have this pool of acid sitting within us. Man. And the last area of the body that I want us to look at is our nose. Did you know that our nose can smell and differentiate between 50,000 different smells? I know we don't come close when it comes to a nose of a dog or other animals out there, but it's cool to think about that our noses and our brains can remember 50,000 different smells. You think about all the things out there that smell both, both bad and good, it's incredible that we can, we can separate even just the slightest variance between smells. Now we can step back and look at all of our individual parts and kind of marvel at how, how cool and awesome they are, but it's when they come together, when they fit together perfectly, that I think points to a creator. You know, we can talk about evidences all day, but if we just look at what God has made in us, I don't think there's anything else to argue about. Look at how perfect everything just kind of fits together and works together in one system. Our bodies are amazing. They are an amazing creation. Now, I hope you enjoyed your first segment of Did You Know? Let us know in the comment section below if there's any other weird or interesting things about the body that you know of. If you wanted to go check our information, there's two blogs that I follow that are full of weird and interesting stories. One is Unbelievable Facts. They can be found on Facebook or they have a Tumblr account. The other blog that I follow is called I Can't See You. You can find them if you just Google search them. I have to warn you, both of these sites, they don't always have family friendly content. So make sure the little ones have gone to bed before you start searching. And always be ready to scroll fast in case some unsavory pictures pop up. I hope you enjoyed this first segment of Did You Know? 
And I hope you can see that the design in our bodies point to a designer. And as always, stay strong.